In this session, I want to go over some strategies for solving equations analytically because you never really know where you're going to need them. Um, all of these things can be done graphically, like let's say we want to know when a line intersects another line. Uh, in other words, when does a linear equal a linear? Well, we could always solve it graphically and find their intersection point. Uh, linear equals quadratic, same thing, we can solve it graphically. Quadratic equals quadratic, absolutely, we can solve it graphically. Um, rational equals constant, yes, we can do that graphically. And number five, anytime we have a polynomial like a linear equals exponential or quadratic equals exponential, we have to solve it graphically. There is no um, set strategy to do that mathematically. So really, you're only limited to these polynomials, uh, linears and quadratics. Um, so let's just take a look at one, where let's say we wanted to solve y equals 0.7x plus 12, and set that equal to 3.2 plus 12x. Well, here's how those two graphs would look, and at some point they would intersect. So our general strategy is to isolate x, because there is no exponent on x, so we can move x to either side that we would like. So um, just to avoid having to deal with negatives, I'm going to subtract 0.7x from both sides. So that will give me 12 equals 3.2 plus 11.3x. And next I'll subtract my constant to isolate those. And I will get 7.8 equals 11.3x. And now I would simply divide both sides by 11.3 and that would isolate x. So all I would have to do is plug into my calculator and uh, figure out what this would, e would be e equal to exactly. And that would be this point right here, 7.8 over 11.3. And then if I wanted to know the y value, I could plug it into that x into either side of the equation and figure out what that corresponding y is. So this is where they're both equal. Let's take a look at another case. In this context, I have a linear equals a quadratic. So 2.1x plus 18.3 is, um, and, and graphing these, uh, hopefully you can sketch these now and you can kind of see what they might look like. And there's 0.5x squared plus 17. Any equation that has x squared in it, in and of itself, it's a parabola, it's a quadratic function. So um, sometimes when we rearrange an equation, our solution may only require solving the linear equation. But anyway, in this case, uh, we might potentially have two solutions. Now we might have one. Let's just say it only intersected in one, in one spot. Like let, let's say it actually looked like that. Or if that line were far enough down here, it may not intersect at all. But uh, it lo looks like we might have an intersection point. Well, let's see. So because I have a squared, uh, it doesn't make sense to try to isolate x. I can't remove. Um, x and x squared and combine them into one term because they're unlike. So what I will do is to get the uh, uh, to be able to use the quadratic formula to solve, I have to get an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everything over to the left in this case. So I'm going to subtract 0.5x squared from both sides. Uh, and of course, I can't, I can't take away apples from oranges, so I'll have negative 0.5x squared plus 2.1x, those are unlike terms, plus 18.3 equals 17. And now if I subtract 17 from both sides, I'll have negative 0.5x squared plus 2.1x uh, plus 1.3 equals 0. Now you might say, well, now we're trying to solve any, a different equation. Um, than we started with, and, you, and you're absolutely right. Now we're trying to figure out when the, this parabola equals zero, but that's the same thing as having rearranged this equation here. So if we solve this for x, then we're technically solving this equation for x as well. So um, how would we do that? Well, let's do quadratic formula. So I've already uh, plugged in the numbers here. We have a, b, and c, and we use negative x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so if we do the, the minus the square root of, we get 4.7. So out here somewhere, and I'll ignore this line, this is 4.7. And then back here somewhere, when we do the negative b plus the square root, we get negative 0.5. So there's another solution over here. And because of my ability to sketch these things, I can kind of visualize what I would expect to happen. So there are two possible solutions where this parabola and this line meet. Um, let's consider another example. Here we have a quadratic equals a quadratic. Um, here is y1, and oh, sorry, this is y2, and here's y1. Now notice that they open, their, their, val their coefficient of x squared is the same, so they're kind of going to ride parallel uh, together as you move on here. And so I would expect only one solution. Well, let's see how that would pan out. So we would want to get all, all of our quadratic stuff on one side so we could use quadratic formula. Well, as I do that, now I'm going to move over the side that requires less stuff to move around.